Wait a second. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial by me, Johnny's Life Vlog. Okay, so uh, so start up Lightworks, get your folder that you want to um, put a filter on, and um, add a setup thingy, my bobber. And then, so you probably already know how to do this. Click here, click there, add that. Put that down there by hitting this button or this button. Um, you know what? Let me show you what that does real quickly. Okay, pointing the two opposite directions, it'll it'll split right where the marker was, and it just placed it. All right. So I cut this one, the first one in half, and it put the it put the clip in between it. All right. So I'm just gonna undo that because I don't really need that done. And this this will just go over it from the marker and after that but I don't really need that done and this tutorial is on how to add a filter so go to effects oops there and add I don't think it would be yeah it would be a color I guess and we can add a color so just hit that that'll add this little dot right here this little dot is very important because there is an update I believe in Lightworks and from then on um, you could just double click this and like the settings tab would pull up but it doesn't pull up anymore for some reason so quit flapping my gums on that La right click on it right click on the little dot and click on settings and then you can you can uh, go with the saturation or the the amount of saturation I mean and you can zoom yeah okay I'm so quit playing with that uh, no that was the wrong button video routing see now you can get you can remove that and you can add all these other ones like I've never even oops you gotta drag it on there and then you click right here with this little um, half circle is and then you connect it to there and that'll put that actually that looks kinda cool things are blossoming ooh yeah we had a, it's a good thing our apple trees are well I guess if you wanted like a black and white picture that would work that's kinda cool I like that anywho so let's let's do a different uh, left click right right click to remove then that all right and then um, where's a good one actually this looks like a cool filter okay drag that on there click on this little blue well I don't know what color it's gonna be it might be blue it might be purple this one's purple so click on the little purple dot and connect it to there and nothing happened Hmm. Maybe that one's broken. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Ba 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 ba. Things are blo What? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe that one just doesn't work. Let's add this one. That one works. And then to edit, you can go into the settings and uh, just by right clicking on this and clicking on settings. And then, one minute, let me, <coughs> let me get a drink of water. so good so good uh, and then that'll do that oh you know what let's let's add this one real quickly remove this add that let's see if I can get this to work and we'll go to settings oh there it goes yeah you can make it look cold out you can make it look more warm I actually like this kind of filter because it makes it more more warm but that that's me and then to export 
for the free version of um, Lightworks, you can only put it out in 7 uh, 720p, unfortunately. Um, if you have a YouTube account that you want to upload the video to, you can't pick the thumbnail out if you upload it from here, but you can click that, type in your username, which would probably be your email, and then your password, which would be your password, of course, and then tags. If you know how to put a video on YouTube, then you know what your tags are. And yeah, that's about it. And I always put it out in 60 frames. Might as well get best, the best quali quality, right? Yeah. And that is how you add a filter to your video. Thanks for watching.